From the Rips! Hey, welcome back to From the Rips. This is a very special edition from the Palladium Open House. Let the choir sing. And I've taken over Kevin's office to bring you guys some inside stuff. We're sitting down here with Nikki B from the Minnesota Shore, also known as uh, Nick Bradshaw. That's right, Nick Bradshaw with his punctuating chicken. chicken. And uh, we're going to talk about some of his art. He's one of the top artists at Palladium. He produces some really great stuff. And we'll get this interview under Ray. Uh, from time to time, you're going to hear Carmen chime in. Uh, we don't have enough room in here for him to fit into the shot. And it's okay because somebody's got to do all the hard work anyway. So, uh, get things going. So, Nick, yeah, you've been working at Palladium for how long now? Well, I got my start in uh, 2006. 2006. So, what is that, six years? Five wow. years? Wow. Yeah. So, I've been at it for a while. It's been a long time. All right. And uh, what's the kind of stuff you've been working on? Well, they got me working on a lot of stuff. Um, you know, uh, Dead Rain, that's a big one they put me on, the Minion Wars. Mm -hmm. um, I did a lot of stuff, well, not too much stuff, but some stuff in uh, Lumeria. That's a, that's a pretty decent book. Mm -hmm. um, Indeed. Yeah. Just came out. I actually had the early edition. It was very cool. Yeah, it came out, it came out great. I know you guys, uh, you know, you pumped that on one of your episodes. We did. I really did. enjoyed that episode. And uh, one thing I've noticed about your art style mm -hmm. is this man does gross well. He does that's zombies. Right, tell the ladies, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, yeah, but zombies, <laughs> monsters, the whole thing. He does disgusting in a way that makes it just palatable. The French would call it grotesque. Well, grotesque. There we go. He does grotesque great. So, um, what inspires you? What got you into doing art? Well, I mean, a lot of, yeah, obviously, you, know, you do comics when you were a kid, you watch cartoons, that kind of stuff. The stuff that was popular back in the 80s when I was a kid, you know, you had like the, you know, massive universe transformers, that kind of cool stuff. But, uh, you know, things, music really more uh, inspires me than, say, like, movies or TV, that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. uh, I'll get like a song in my head, and there'll be maybe like a lyric or something, and it's just like, yeah, it's kind of cool, and I toy with that, and it's like, I mean, I'm going to draw something that kind of, you know, looks like what this guy's singing about. Yeah, I hear you on that. I mean, music can be a real motivator. So, right. like, as a motivator, like, what kind of music are you listening to when you're coming up with that? Uh, you know, I listen to a lot of metal, um, a lot of punk from, you know, not so much nowadays, but maybe, like, you know, like, early 90s. Misfits, that kind of stuff. Misfits, um, stuff. Danzig, he's one of my favorites. Absolutely. Um, you know, that, that kind of genre. Motorhead. I love, I love, love Motorhead. Mother. Mother's a, oh, yeah. a great Oh, yeah. I mean, who does it? And for all you artists out there, I know you're looking at me like this big black guy that listens to Danzig. You're right. It's weird, but it works. Trust me, oh, it's an art thing. Absolutely, um, an You have really, really spot on inks. Um, we got some examples of your work right here. Um, we're gonna put in some inserts, but uh, we'll get you to talk a little bit about a couple of your pieces. Okay. And uh, we'll cycle through them. I'm gonna hold this one up, and we'll replace it with a picture for everybody. Mm -hmm. Where's that voice coming from? Yeah, that's Carmen. Oh. I mentioned that in the beginning. But you weren't paying attention. I was. Because you're starving. I didn't know who Carmen was. <laughs> anyway, so check it out. Uh, so this piece here? That piece there. That piece there. And um, that is from one of the Rifters. It's a, it's a Nightbane piece. Okay. Um, the funny thing about this picture, too, is that the author wrote the piece, and he wrote this character when she turned into her morphus. She was supposed to look like a kitten. Uh -huh. And I was just too busy to read what he wrote, so I drew what I wanted to. And they had to change it in the post production. So. Oh, that's just in case anybody's wondering. So professional, right? <laughs> a note to all you aspiring artists out there, right? Don't read do it. the description. Yeah, don't do it. Nikki, don't does. <laughs> so uh, moving on to the next piece, which uh, I personally feel is a very kick-ass piece of art. It's it's a beast in the Florida Everglades. It's um, going to be in the uh, upcoming Megaverse and Flames. Uh -huh. So it's the Mean Wars comes to Earth. Uh -huh. uh, it's it's a piece that I just did just just on a whim. I thought you know it'd be kind of cool to throw in, you know, some classic riffs characters from you know the core books and stuff. Right. And that was obviously Dinosaur Swamp, um, into the Minion Wars. Oh, so sorry. Nick, this one is for an upcoming book. So no one's seen this. No one, one has yet. seen that yet. It, it made its debut on uh, your show. So this cool. is the kind of stuff that we we can do. I mean, not only did we get into Kevin's office, keys but, of the kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the Palladium Kingdom. Right, keys to the megaverse. There it is. Anyway, so uh, moving on to the next piece, <laughs> which, like I said, grotesque, great. Oh yeah, I, I call this piece sticky black candy. Um, it, it's from, it's, it's what it's called. It's from the the new uh, uh, Dead Rain book, Endless Dead. Uh huh. Um, it was one of these deals where. A lot of the times with this, um, I'm given a lot of freedom, and I'm, I'm extremely thankful for that. So I, I thought, you know, why not just draw a picture? And it just kind of started, and that's where it ended. Okay. So it's it's really nice because he's got like a, a sexy broad, 
and he's got what well, it's got that sexy that, bra. It's got that kind of thumbs up my life, man. It, it's got that sex appeal mixed with that horror. You know, it, it's just a nice it, clash. It's, that's what good. That's what good horror is all about. Yeah, you know, you want to have some comedy. Class. You want to have some grossness. You want to have some sexiness. And if you can put it all together, and you know, that's what I try to do. Yeah, very much so. All right, we're gonna like move on to another piece here, which is uh, one of my personal faves. Yeah, so you know, um, this is this is kind of a cool piece here. I was just on Palladium's webpage one day, and I wanted to see some, uh, you know, what people were talking about on their message board. And somebody had started this this thread saying how how much they hated me, and I should, you know, choke and die, that kind of stuff. So uh, this other kid, he came on, and he's like, no, you know, I really like him. I, I think his artwork's great, and you know, he, he does a good job. And I thought that's that's cool. You know, that this guy, you know, he didn't have to say this kind of stuff, so he did. So I, I contacted him. And I said, hey, you know, thank you so much for you know the, the praise, and I still thank him right now. Um, I said, hey, do you have a character that you like? And he says, yes, I do. I says, I'd like to draw that character for you. So he sent me the, the character's description, and I, I sent him out that, uh, that illustration. Yeah. See, again, that's another very cool thing about Palladium. Hey, you can sometimes get in touch with the writers, you can get in touch with the artists, and you can do all that kind of stuff. And uh, sometimes you might even get them to do something that you dig. All right, so we'll move on to the next piece, oh. which, oddly enough, involves another horse. Yeah, right, that, uh, that um, one's epic. Right, for every Dead Rain book I do, I do a particular piece. Um, the first uh, piece that was called just Dead Rain was in the first core book, obviously. It's kind of like this zombie, he's wearing his underwear and he's got an Uzi. I call that Dead Rain. Um, this is for Endless Dead, so this is the, the piece entitled Endless Dead. Cool. Very cool. And I think this is going to be our last piece to showcase, which this is great, too. This one's another piece for an upcoming book. Um, Ooh. It's, so it would be for uh, Riff's... What is the uh, Northern Gun? Northern Gun, yeah. Oh wow! So in the in, in Northern Gun, they're uh, as of right now they, they have arenas, and again, uh, where they have you know robot fights. Spoiler alert, I guess. Yeah, the robot fights. So these are two fighting robots. Oh, well, there you go. So and some more inside stuff. Now, at Palladium, like you said, you get a lot of freedom. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, of course. Um, so. Your experience at Palladium has obviously been a very positive one. Absolutely. Okay, and uh, for those individuals out there who may be looking to get into this industry, mm -hmm. what are your recommendations? What would you say? Practice every single day. I mean, okay. Don't stop. Um, every kid draws, okay? That's true. Certain kids stop. I was just one of the kids that never stopped. Mm -hmm. So once you once you get to a certain point that you feel that you have reached a level that you want other people to look at, it, and this, that's the hardest part, is to, to feel that you're good enough to, to showcase your case your stuff and that that point may never come so you you need to just you know bite the bullet and just send your stuff out and if it gets rejected it gets rejected big deal go back and send some more stuff you keep sending stuff until you get good enough that it doesn't get rejected that's right yeah very cool you yeah. all right um and on a final note why don't you let us know what have you like what do you like to work with i mean you tend to do black and white. Yeah, I'm a straight up like old school just like pen and ink kind of guy okay. i mean a lot of new, a lot of cats now that you know they're doing computer digital work and that's great for them but not for me i have to feel my artwork you know right. it's it, then that's what it is to me it's, it's not you know it, it is a job but for me it's one of those things where if you can you know do what you love doing for a living you don't ever work a day in your life mm -hmm. so i mean that's what my artwork is it's, it's like a it's an extension of my my personality it's an extension of my, my, my what i'm thinking at that time so it's it's, it's uh, very personal it's yet i'm willing to part with it. absolutely <laughs> so what's your uh, what's your working um schedule like when you work on it do you do them spur of the moment or do you, you know, sit down and go, okay, at 8 o'clock, I want to sit down and start no, working? No, I'm not, I'm not that regimen. I'm, I'm kind of like a road warrior artist, you know, where it's like, I just take it with me. You know, you, you're just constantly chipping away at it until it's finished, okay? I don't have a studio. I just, you know, where, where I lay my hat, that's home, you know? So you pick it up, and any time you're able to just sit and go? Yeah, anywhere, anywhere, you know, what's well, appropriate. I mean, I guess you're drawing a demon in church or something. People are like, what's this guy's problem? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're at Taco Bell at 2 in the morning, who the hell cares? Yeah. Well, it's it's nice the fact that you do do pen and ink and that you're old school, because it does mean you can, you know, stop it, stop at Taco Bell and have a sandwich and draw a cool picture. Right, right. you know, you're waiting on the bus or something yeah. like that, sure. <laughs> Where these guys that are tied to a computer just can't do that. Well, I mean, they're, they're getting, you know, they can, they, they've got machinery and stuff that you can do that nowadays, too, but yeah, I'm not going to draw drop, you know, 20 grand, you know, that doesn't cost that, but, you know, it, yeah, I'm just, again, I, I, I like old, to feel my work, you know, it's, it's, I, it's, you know, I'm an old it's school, me, man. I'm an old school guy myself, yeah, absolutely. I feel you, um, so, you know, this smells like, smells like a sketch session coming on later I'm on. I'm digging it, man. All right, we might have to film that, too, mm -hmm. so, I think we pretty much covered what we're going to cover in this one, um, man, Nikki B, Mr. <laughs> 
good to have you, Mr. Okay. Bradshaw. Thanks for having me. And uh, maybe we'll get a little sketch session and film that, too. From the riffs, it's Big Will Johnson. Carmen Blair. The voice gaming god. Hey, Bradshaw. All right. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.